Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have a Timu haul for you today. Um, if you're not familiar, Timu is a website that offers affordable solutions for home goods, clothing, all of that. Now, in my description box below, if you click the link, there is a 30% coupon code for you for your first order. So if you're wanting to give it a try, you can. They do offer free shipping and free returns. Just want to throw that out there. So, oh boys, let's not fight. Alex! We're tussling. I'm back. They're done tussling now. Ugh. Okay. We have a Timu haul, and it's a it's a good one. First off, I bought a two-piece set. This hot pink hoodie. Um, it does have like the fleece on the inside. It's definitely more of a microfiber than like a cotton for sure. So this hoodie, I do order the size 18, and they do fit me rather well. And it came with sweatpants, same material. I'm gonna say this is a poly blend. Yeah, it's polyester. So it's it, it definitely feels more nylon sweatpants than it does cotton sweatpants, but whatevs. It does have a nice uh, elastic waist along with a drawstring and side pockets. And for me, the crucial cuff at the bottom because I have short legs. Um, I did have this on, it is adorable. Totally worth the price on this. And I will tell you, if I don't think something is worth it, and I have in the past. So we have that. Um, also in the clothing department, I picked up this shirt, which I feel like is also polyester. Yeah, 92% polyester. It, um, just a, a black t-shirt, but it came with matching shorts. And this is 100% going to be my summer pajamas. The little matching on the pants. Again, polyester. Not cotton, but I think it'll be cool for summer. The, um, the iron is a little thick. If that weirds you out and listen. Like, I can feel it. It doesn't weird me out, so I'm okay with that. So this shirt, same size, 3X. Now, I did order this again in black because the other one was a little tight in the shoulders for me. So, I did have to upsize this, but I love this t-shirt. Um, I like the cuff, the fake pocket. It is a little wider at the bottom. And I wear the purple one fairly regularly. So, I wanted one in black because I think it'll look really cute with like some pink shorts or something. So, I grabbed it in black. I did give the other one away to a coworker. So don't worry, nothing goes to waste on my channel. I think I'm trying to pull all the clothing out first. And this is a set. So you get the black pants. Um, they are tapered at the bottom, so I didn't have an issue there. Also, I'm going to say this is polyester nylon as well. I don't see a tag. Um, but it comes with a matching shirt. So the shirt is a high collar. And it does have the um, the buttons in the back. So it's a high neck. But I wanted to show you this detail. So I would wear a tank top under it because it splits open at the bottom. So let's get a good look. Size 3X as well, which is their 18. And it fit me good. So yeah, I got a couple things that I think will be fun to just romp around in. Because apparently summer's never coming here. It's 50 today. Yes. Okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, we did get some shoes. So these are, I think I ordered the eight and a half. I can't remember. But these are light as air, like slides for the pool, for the beach. To go out in my back patio probably is what these will do. They'll sit at the back porch all day. But they're really lightweight. If you're a backpacker or a hiker and you want to bring some camp shoes, these would be great and very reasonably priced. Um, yeah, they're just some basic slides. But I think these would be great for the beach because, you know, they can, well, you can wear them in the ocean. 
Although they might float away. Just keep that in mind. Also for packing purposes, they pack up pretty small. So I grabbed those and they do fit. And these also. I grabbed these shoes, which I think are adorable. Um, the fabric, it wants to be suede. Oh, there's Wellington. It wants to be suede, but it's not. But unless you're right up on top of it, you do have the rubber sole. And then it goes into the toe. I will tell you, I have a wide foot. I wear an eight and a half, nine, and these fit me just fine. Yeah, I like them. I wore them around the house the other night. Um, they don't, there's no sore spots to report. Um, and they don't feel like, I mean, I don't, I guess I don't know, you know, if they would come apart. I guess I'm not wearing these walking far, but I think they're adorable. So I grabbed those, you know, I, I, I like them. I think they're cute. I, I'm just nervous that they won't hold together because they're not real. They're not in there real good. So I would be leery. Just going to throw that out there with those. Um, You know, I'm wearing, I will wear them, but I don't know how long they're going to hold together. Just as an FYI. All right. So I think that's it for clothes and shoes. Now it's summertime. And I'm going to be going to Picnic with the Pops, which is an outdoor concert here in Columbus downtown. And I, we have a table, so we're going to share food. So I wanted a cooler bag that was a little bigger than your regular, like, lunch bag. I want to be able to bring things that I can share, but maybe isn't overly large. So what I like about this fix that zipper up on the front we have a zipper part a zipper compartment that is waterproof definitely will fit lots of could put your napkins in here your silverware and if you bring a lot of lunch to work this is a gonna be a good lunch box too I just don't need anything this size for my lunches um, it has the two mesh things on the side for water bottles, for drinks, for sunblock, for all of that. Then we have a compartment right here that your handles come out of. If you're going to carry it, you know, like this. But you have a completely lined pocket on the front and a completely lined pocket on the back. That does seem to be water resistant. And they have Velcro closures, which I think is great. So, like I said, you have the two handles or you have the strap. Then you have this top compartment that, again, is waterproof. It will rise up, obviously, and you can store whatever you like up here. But watch what it does. This top compartment opens up, guys. It is an expandable section. You can put ice packs in here. You can put containers. You can put your dry stuff that you want to keep. You can put anything you want at the top. So let's see. I'm going to close this top zip. And you get all of that extra space up top to put whatever you want. And then... You have your waterproof inside that I would say would hold I mean if I had to guess I would say that would hold a six pack maybe eight cans in here if I'm guessing I don't I didn't measure but it's pretty watertight the only thing that I think is weird quality wise they went to this much detail I mean this is nice quality Definitely nice quality um, fabric on the outside. The straps are nice. These zipper pulls are just cheap. So what I would am going to do is get some new zipper pulls. Just, you know, maybe and attach it. I don't understand why we would go on this route. And they might not break, but they just feel like they're going to break. But 
obviously it's fine. But everything else is super nice and waterproof and wipes off easy. Now, if you have it all the way open at the top, it may not be handy to hold it like that, but you do have your shoulder straps, which is woven fabric, and they do adjust. So yeah, I thought that is fantastic, and I cannot wait for the summertime to put that to use. Then we have um, some cat balls, toys. My Wellington, or Alex loves, he has this toy. And it is leopard print like this, but it's squishy. This one is hard. He carries it around in his mouth. He plays with it. It's also smaller than this. So this is, you know, a decent size. The one he plays with is much smaller than this. But I can't find a replacement and I'm scared to death. So I ordered these in hopes that these would be like that, but they're not. These are the hard balls, which he still might play with. You know, who knows what they do, these two cats of mine. Um, I grabbed this. This is a needle felter. So I do needle felting. This thing here holds seven needles. So you put this, oh, the, the guard goes. It has seven needles in there. So if you're needle felting, this will go super fast. For you and then you can unscrew it and change out your needles like you can put fresh needles in there and then there's a metal disc that sits on top that keeps oops that keeps everything fresh so I actually own replace I have replacement needles upstairs for not this specific device, but it'll work. And then you just, there you go. And then when you go to, you tighten it down. And when you go to felt, this guard goes back and forth while you're felting and it protects the needles. Ow. See, that's why we don't play with needles. They are sharp, but your guard, while it's out, you can turn it and lock it and then it's not going to hurt your fingers. And you turn it this way and then while you're needle felting, it protects itself. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, I like this a lot and it will get a lot of use because I need to do some projects. Okay, then I picked up this. It is a coffee filter to nobody's surprise. And I'm not sure quite how to put it together yet. I do need to read the directions on how to do it but I believe it goes like this and then you stick a cup under here and you push a button and it vibrates and your water you get to put batteries in it and then it brews your coffee on the go and then you just take the lid off it all compresses down upon itself yeah oh isn't that neat so if you're out and about, again, camping, backpacking, picnicking, doing outside activities, and we all need our coffee, it's a portable automatic coffee maker. And I don't know how much it makes. It does require batteries, two triple A's. Stainless steel filter, portable automatic coffee maker. That makes me very excited. Well, uh, Wellington, be, don't be rude back there. He's cleaning his foot. Because, you know, that's how he rolls. Um, I got some more socks. I am on the quest for my favorite socks, which I haven't found yet. So we're going to try these. I'm currently wearing a, a pair of socks that I got from Timu, and they're fine. These are a little thicker, which I do like. And I like the higher ankle, especially if I'm going to be doing, like, yard work or something. Yeah, I mean, I've, I'm they're very comfortable. And you get six pairs, so they come in gray, cream with brown, cream with orange, Black with tan, white with black, and brown with brown. Yeah, I think these are cute. Six pair. I mean, you cannot beat that. I think these are adults, women's sizes. I didn't really look. I'm assuming they are. These are, just says mixed color one size. So, yeah, I mean, 
you just can't beat the price. The thing is, if you get something that you don't love, you can just return it. It's free and easy, right? Um, we don't have a ton of stuff left, but on the outdoor camping situation, I got a three pack of these. And what they are, is collapsible bowls, right? So I need to get my, there's three of them in here. So if you want to, especially like for college kids, this would be a great um, college student thing, right? They hold the air pretty good and then they collapse and that's all the room they take up, including all three bowls. And you get three different sizes. So you have that size. And I know people who travel a lot, like and stay at hostels and things bring one of these to put their leftovers in. But look at the size of this one. Like this would be perfect for me to have any kind of leftover situation. And then they just go inside of each other. And you get three of them. And that's all the room these three take up. So if you have an RV or something, perfect for that. Y'all, I'm on a videoing man marathon today because I got a lot to do this week. All right. Please hold. I have more things. Is that everything? I think so. Okay, this I'm dying with. So it's just an innocuous little cylinder, but if you open it up, it is, I'm going to show you real close. It is a roll of soap sheets and you pull it out and you close it and you just rip off what piece of soap you want to use and the rest of it stays in here and now you have a piece of hand soap I mean that's a little small but like what I know you just pull it out and it's all inside here on a roll and then this whole thing it smells floral. This whole thing is soap and it dissolves in water. And that's really all you would need to wash your hands. If you want like actual soap when you go traveling or whatever, like even keep it in your purse. Can't tell you how many bathrooms I've been to because I'm a water drinker now. I drink water. Um, that don't have soap. And I'm like, that's gross. Now I have some for my purse. Or whatever, purse, bag, you name it. Okay. Now, I got some of these from my little cousin. We're going to the beach this summer. So I thought this was a cute little bracelet and it's the type that you can stretch to fit. But it has the, it just screams beach colors to me. So you get the turquoise and the white little beads. They sell this stuff all over the place and not for 71 cents at the beach. So I got her that. And then this is a little ankle bracelet, same idea. And it has a wave on it, which I thought was cute, and some starfish. And this is just a little ankle bracelet. I mean, you could wear it around your wrist too, but I think it would be too big for that, unless you had a larger wrist. I mean, I could probably get away with it. It would come off. But it has the wave and then the starfish. And I feel like it is super cute. Little, just a little beach bracelet for her to play. You know, put it on when we're at the beach. She'll be doing other activities. We're just delivering her to a camp that she's going to. But we'll have a couple days. And then, um, also this one, which I'm not sure if I'll keep or if I will pass it on to her as well. I'll just pack these up and bring them. And then she can decide if she wants to wear them at the beach or not. But this, oops is a two pack of little ankle bracelets and they're so dainty and delicate, but you get the little heart, right? And then you just get this little chain with some um, balls. See, I think these are too big for being a bracelet. Yeah. But if you had a larger wrist, they would totally work as a bracelet. But you got a little two-pack. I mean, are these going to break real quick? Yeah, they are. But are they going to be fun for the day or two you wear them on the beach? Sure are. So I grabbed those. I mean, they were so cheap. Like 70 cents or something silly. So we'll just bring these and let we'll play. We'll have fun. 
And nobody cares if they get broken or lost, you know? And how many times when you buy this beachy stuff, does it come home when you're never to be seen again? Because the kids are like, well, I'm not at the beach. Same. Um, I did get some other earrings. So I got these, which I am obsessed with for summer. They're calling them just vintage. Everything was a vintage. The names of all the jewelry was vintage. And they're just like shades of turquoise in here. And I love it. So I grabbed a pair of those. I have um, the rubber backs I can put on them. And if you're sensitive to like cheap metal, you can paint that with clear nail polish remover. So I grabbed those. And then look at these. These are wooden feathers. They are actual wood and they are adorable. And I thought my niece would love those. And I love that brown earthy. Excuse my nails. I have to keep them cut short for my pottery class. So I grabbed those. And then the last pair I got is a gift for somebody. You'll see in another video because I'm going to have four videos in a row out. Um... She has chickens. And girl, these are chicken earrings. They sure are. <laughs> I think you're adorable. <laughs> and they were so cheap. You know, chicken ladies in your life. I mean, at the cost of eggs these days. And then we just have three things. I grabbed a 10 pack of these, 10. Keep that in mind. These are refillable. They're like lip gloss or chapstick tubes, but I am definitely 100% putting Aquaphor in one of these for um, travel. Hold on. I took it apart. When it comes, it looks like this. And then you take the tip off and you um, fill it with what you want. And then you just put the lid back on and now it's a squeeze tube. Isn't that genius? First of all, a three pack of this, a three pack of Aquaphor and who knows how much Aquaphor you get is $7 for a three pack. Yeah, I'm filling my own. Plus when I travel, I can put other product and just Sharpie on here what it is or make a sticker and you get 10 of them. I was like, well, that's genius. Genius. Also for travel, because if you haven't noticed, I have travel on the brain. Guess what it is? Do you know? You don't. It is a collapsible coffee filter. What? What the heck? You put this over your cup. Oh, wait, I got to pull it up. Oh, no, I didn't need to pull it up. But it does come apart. You put a little size filter in here, which I need to order some filters that are this tiny. You put your coffee in it. You pour your hot water over. it. Pour, it's pour over coffee, guys. But then when you're not using it, you collapse it. It's literally that big. I know I'm obsessed with coffee and the portability of it. You, bring, you buy coffee grounds wherever you're at and you have coffee everywhere. I'm a genius. Just say it. I'm a genius. And the last thing I got is this Argyle quilted travel bag. Very good quality. You've got your rubber feet on the bottom. So it's not like sitting on the bottom. You have an entire zipper compartment up here. Oops, sorry, wrong direction. That is padded and protected. So you have that whole padded compartment right here this whole interior there is nothing in here but space the whole size of that bag and then on the back you have a trolley strap so if you have a um a suitcase on wheels and you pull it up this slides right over it so it doesn't fall off you have your hand straps this also would work for a laptop and then you have your shoulder straps that are adjustable in the word people it also folds up very small so let's just say you bring this along somewhere for your extra travel bag if not you have a bag with a zipper and the inside that is water resistant 
that is everything I got for Timu Hall. I hope you enjoy. Check out the description box below and I will talk with you later. Wellington says bye. Bye.